bearing is trashed. The bearing took a dump. So we're out. Unless somebody had a rear end. Somebody had a rear end. Well, don't let me get to you. Drive this thing like you stole it. Oh yeah, that got me good. That's cute. Better than nothing. So. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you don't like old stuff right off the bat, don't watch this video. Um, if you don't mind, then go for it. So this is starting the series from Rocky Mountain Race Week 1.0 this year. Could I have put it out a lot sooner? Absolutely. I, however did not want to relive this week. I had to finally get over this week in order to want to edit these videos and relive it again. It was the worst, most intense race week experience I've ever, or any kind of drag and drive experience I've ever had. We had a nightmare of a time. We hurt our brand new third member that was kind of experimental, that was supposed to be triple throwdown, killer, solve all the world's problems. Um, hurt that. We had the transmission out, I think, four times during the week. We fought a tune issue that I did not know what it was until literally this past couple weeks. Um, and it's not something that we're doing. It's something behind the scenes in the software that's still activating um, traction control. So there's a lot that happened this week. I didn't want to touch this wanted to wipe my hands of it for a while um, but I went back and I've been editing these videos and I actually really like them um, they're not so much about the race week it is about the race week but I'm just saying like if you are concerned that you're going to be watching something that's old news there's a lot of new news in here so it's kind of fun so anyways let's kick it off let's get going here it is race week 1.0 2022 Welcome back. So we are at Rock Mountain Race Week 1.0. It's 2022. This is day one. The 55 is set up. We just went through tech and uh, super easy tech. Matt has this new thing where you can do pre-check. And so you basically send him a video showing your lights and horns and all of the drive and stuff is functioning. And then you go through NHRA tech. We're trying to hide from this wind, but it's windy. It's rough. So we are down here and I'll sit down here in the new trailer. So we are going to uh, have a couple hours. We've got about probably three more hours of just kind of waiting around. I just packed my brand new bright pink shoots from Stroud and put those on the car. So uh, I'm gonna go make sure the car spools and makes boost and all that good stuff. And then, um, cause it's a little bit different air, but then once that's good, we're, we're ready to go. And uh, this trailer is already, it's killer. I am so excited about it. It's making all the difference.
Get the jacks out of the Let trailer. Me get my suit off. Well, I mean, we gotta figure out what that looks like because I, I mean, I don't know. We can't pull it out here at the track because we don't have, you know, we can, but we gotta figure out if we got parts first. Yeah, but I need to be able to. I need to be able to drive it somewhere if I have to. you catch up. unit already set up but it's got 411 yeah, gears and we've got 389 so it'll get us by for tonight we have spare gears with us so we may end up swapping out we gotta figure out what it looks like but we can at worst case get another pass in and then we can make a another hit we can make the drive tomorrow my brain is trying to think of 10 things right now so we've got options it's just not fun it's okay it could be worse i might have another solution Okay, but we can put the 411s in, you can make a hit. It's going to raise it by about 500 RPM, but it'll compensate for the air right now, so. Um, we got to find oil, too. How big you got to drill them? Just um, 15, 30 seconds. No, that's already there. You know what? That might already work. So one up from 3H is 2564. Two up is 1332. 2764 is just under 716. So this is a 3H. That almost looks like it would. I may try it in there before I drill his rear end. Okay. That didn't sound good, did it? You, your whole comments today, I'm trying not to... Alex asked if you would give a recap of what you're doing. A, a gentleman here at the track came to our rescue and he has this third member. Really nice Mark Williams aluminum 
The only difference is it, I mean, the big difference is it's a 411 gear and we're used to a 389. Yeah. What? What did I say? You're supposed to be doing a recap. I'm just being quiet. <laughs> well, I thought I was recapping. You are, you quit in the middle. Cut! Cut! What? Do I have to start all over now? Retake. Start all over again? I, I won't pay any attention to Slow Berry. I wasn't doing anything! Slow Berry. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing is our rear end is trashed. The bearing took a dump. The pinion bearing in here was never supposed to happen. It's supposed to be good forever, but it didn't last one pass. Anyway, so we're out. Unless somebody had a rear end. Somebody had a rear end. It's a 411 gear. We run a 389. It's not that much different. The air's so bad here, and probably will be all week, that the 411 may actually be better for us. So I'm getting ready to put this in, put it back together, and she can make her second hit tonight. That's, that's a recap. Capped. Without any... Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it, slide the whole thing. This guy's a heaven sent. I can't believe people let you borrow stuff like this. Okay, I need to get it out of the tub, so I'm going to lift it up. I have a question. Take that out. Let me lay this on the ground. I need to wipe the slobber stuff on Worst case scenario, we did on the new set of gears. Lift it up. Okay, we're gonna be ready for the next round. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you, right? Go ahead and put it in there. What? Put it in there first. Who's talking? Oh, what is it, man? Just stuff that in there. We'll talk. What did we do wrong? Did we do? Put it in there. Okay, well, somebody was laying under here that wasn't supposed to be. I'm not, okay, well, I'm just telling you. You know how this is. Everybody's eyes are on you. I know, that's why we told them not to do it. And we got the GoPro too. Like, no one touched anything. So. Right here. Perfect. Yeah, we, we make sure. We yeah. said, Joe, don't touch. He's just laying. He said, oh, I don't want to touch. I know, I'm just telling you. you guys, I had him look through the tube. That's fine. You, you just know how it goes. Did somebody already say something? Well, somebody said something. Oh, so. This is big leagues now, bud.
Close the day, we ended up not making another pass. We went up in the lanes in case we needed to, um, in case like Garrett or anybody else ran faster. Um, the reason we didn't go ahead and run, even though we were up there, is because like we're still running on a borrowed rear end that's not quite as strong as we need it to be. Um, and since it's somebody else's, I don't want to put more strain on it than we have to until we can get a guaranteed backup and you know all of that. So. We called it for the day, but 7.06 at 2.02, so that's pretty good. Um, we are going to pack up, probably not get dinner, and uh, we're going to roll out at a pretty good time in the morning, um, maybe 7, 7.30ish, and uh, get there and hopefully make a good pass there. But we got some good data, so we've got a tune ready to go for tomorrow. So. That is it for day one of race week. I don't anticipate anything crazy cool and awesome happening between here and the hotel. At least I hope not because it's only four miles. So uh, I say we call it a day here and wrap it up. Hey guys, welcome back for day two of race week. We are on the road headed to Kearney, Nebraska, or Kearney, Nebraska from Great Bend. Yesterday was a great day. Um, we did have rear end. We heard a rear end. Uh, third member, but it's okay. We found uh, 411. Ended up running a 706 at one or 202. So that puts us in first place for day one. Um, so there's three more days that count towards the average. Of course, anything can happen, but that set us up pretty good for um, a start to the week. So it's always good to at least start off the week strong because it's hard to make that up, um, at least mentally, anyways. So. We're gonna go check in with Dad. It's Father's Day. I forgot. So uh, happy Father's Day, Dad. We get this video. I need to tell you that. But my sister's calling me, so stay tuned. We're about to hop back on the road. What you thinking? What? What do you think? I think it's hot, but I think we're in good shape. Car seems to be doing good. Yup. Oh, it's Happy Father's Day, by the way. Oh, nice. Happy <laughs> Father's Day, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized it. I'm ready to get on the road. I forgot about that father's day. You can have a steak dinner tonight. Okay. Probably not. That'll be good. We probably won't make it. Probably not. <laughs> In spirit. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, we're back. We made it to Kearney, Nebraska. Um, we made it to Kearney, Nebraska. 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 Kearney, very interesting. So we are going to get back on the road and uh, Rick said he's going to let his tractor cool down. That's a diesel by the way. So we're going to hit the road and we're making decent time so hopefully the 55 keeps cooperating. When you see the 55 you keep doing what it's doing. I think it's doing good. So far. We're getting used to some things. Alright, what's our next direction? I guess we turn the page. So we left on day one with our borrowed third member. Everything was still surviving, still sounded decent. Um, got up, had plenty of time to get to the next track. We thought we were doing great. And then as we were literally pulling into our pit spot for the morning, we were early. Like we were one of the first ones to the track. We had pick of the spots, pulling in. I looked down because the transmission felt a little spongy and your reverse circuit and your third circuit and trans brake are all basically share fluid. It's they share passages. And I looked down and I was like, ooh, backup pressure. Like the transmission line pressure when I went to back up um, was very, very low. And then I tried it in third and reverse and I immediately told Dad, I'm like, we got a problem, put it on the lift. So we pulled into the track, had to put this thing on the lift, pull the transmission. We blew a ceiling ring, and this is what kickstarted our transmission issues for the week. Um, if you watch the drag week videos, we actually solved this problem. We know what happened. We had no issues on drag week, um, so that was all fixed. So anyways, that's what started here, just pure chaos. It's not 
Hey, do you want to put that new gear? Sean Moeller in the right lane, the Nova. Do you think that we're 1274 in the left lane, 1248 in the right. Another hour or so to go out there and do practice runs if you'd like. Time runs start at 5 and we go till 7. And then we're going to do the bracket race. going to change it, Dennis? At yeah, that one has tonight. a little bit of, just a little bit of burn. So brackets at 815, no, we'll, yeah. you'll know if you're in that bracket at 8 p.m. C10 in the right lane. Newer Ford F-150 in the left lane. I'm sorry, F-350. Holy moly. That thing's bigger than that. No, the washer hit me in the nose. Where am I bleeding at? Is it on the bridge or? Oh yeah, that got me good. That's cute. Nine in the right lane. Look at your dog back there. They're looking doggy. Uh, attention to the pitch, attention to the pitch. Junior Street, Junior Street, come on down to nine, but stay behind those motorcycles. We don't want that thing hooked up. Junior Street, come on down to nine. We look bad. Running that match last bridge, small block. Oh, yeah. Right turn, left lane, that's Keith Mason. Oh, Keith Madison. Wendy Martin, Bill Armstrong just told me that he has free sunblock over at his Bangship Philly tent. So if you want more, he's got some. Oh, Bill Armstrong has more uh, sunscreen. That's not going to do it. He doesn't burn out on the clutch, unfortunately. So we'll see him come back around. To note, Rich Guido, who was in second place, out. Had problems with the Pontiac. Decided, let's get it back to Great Bend. Don't break the tires. Let's uh, get it kind of set up. And we have to do everything we can because he drove that car from Red Deer, Alberta. So he's got to get it fixed. Turn this morning. Actually, got to follow Eric Mitchell or Cleese McFarland and his crew up here. <laughs> kind of by coincidence. But uh, awesome to have him and his guys in the back. He's kind of waiting to get some cars off the track. Looks like we're about ready to go. But once again, Outlaw, Lane 5, Ultimate Radial, Lane 6. That was perfect. kicked my butt. We didn't have time to even so tell if it was going to go sure forward and backwards. We just had to run out there. Well, she put a different tune in it, hoping for a six. Well, evidently it's too fat. So at least it got some data and I'm okay with that. We'll go back out, study the tune, make sure the transmission's good and let it eat. No. But it's look at you know that thing looked like a bad pass and it was a bad pass, but it got, got data, so that's the main thing. Make sure the transmission's good, turn it, you know, do what we need to do to tune it. A ZL1 trail. It's better than nothing. Oh, that wheeling machine go back out there. 
So that was the same tune as last time? Yeah. So that air must just be crap then. Play this gets it in the beans. Sick of that? Yeah. Well, I'm 
Put a little mild oh, over the thing. Figure out a hydraulic roller can. Yes, you take it on the street. Get out of the garage and do something. Mix it to your garage. Nothing. So. And it was so dark. I was like, I pulled it back, but then like I could see anything. I hit a bump in the track, like at the top. Playboy, look at so that. Ten zero zero on the scoreboard. Ten twenty one. Not gonna be any help. Eleven three four in the right lane. Murder charge is low right now. Yeah, well, There's good. Timmy Myers. But Timmy two turbos. They call. Okay. Line pressure's okay. Well, then re -rendered. Cardi his whole track. I don't think I want to make another pass. You don't. I do. And again, okay. index guys, this is your last pass. This is your last pass for the evening. We I thought you were coming back. You All right, if it's everyone else, we're going to do our best to get that pass, but everyone needs to be on their stuff. All right, and that is a wrap for this video. So um, we ended up actually not making another pass because we did the math and figured out we couldn't really improve our standing or the margin that we had right at that moment um, and the risk of running again with one, still a borrowed rear end, and two, the transmission obviously being of concern at this point. Um, didn't want to risk it. So ended up calling it a night, went to the hotel, got ready for what will be another pure chaos tomorrow or the next day the rest of the race week really so this week started off rough and just was rough from there on out so like i said it's the hardest race week or dragon drive event ever done um it's hard to watch back some of this video just because we've learned so much from that point um we actually just recently went to efi university learned a lot about the tune and how to tune and things that might have been happening in the background. Um, when we were at Drag Week, I think if you guys watched that video, <clears throat> we feel like we found a spot, or we had felt like we'd found a spot where traction control was activating. Everybody kept saying, turn that stuff off. Well, we thought it was off, but um, undeniably, it was still activating in the background. And so where you saw, saw the car shut off and things like that, there's a chance even in this point that that was happening. No, it sounds crazy. There'll be a video on that later to explain it a little bit more once we have more confirmation. But we also fixed the transmission issue. You guys saw that at Drag Week. Uh, kind of had that totally fixed. Didn't have to pull the transmission out once. But um, during this week, we had it out a lot. So anyways, that's a wrap on this. There's lots more chaos coming in the next couple videos of Race Week. And um, yeah, so stay tuned. And as always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys next time.